Hey, the one Philly Cheesesteak here, back instead of Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and today I'm doing Neon Lights, where we have to complete the Neon Knights side mission and also stop the distribution of the drug, well, fictional drug, Neon. So how do you get this? Now, there are several ways to do this, but this is the way I did it as I was wandering around. Now, where you can get this is in this general courtyard area. There will be this restricted area just beyond this gated fence type thing here. It's fence door. So anyway, I do cut away after a second, but there is this guy in here. He's defending something. What is he defending? Well, if you saw me turn on my, uh, I'm just going to call it nano vision. we saw that he was defending something that looked like a safe. Well, what could be in this safe? Well, we're going to find out in a few seconds. Um, I also recommend just stealing all their shit. That's just what I do. It's more fun that way. But anyway, open up this safe and you will find some stuff, like gas grenades, some neuropazine, and a pocket secretary. Now, what's in this pocket secretary? It's the first stage for the Neon side, Neon Knight's side quest. Or side mission. So it's actually a quite a uh, quite a simple start. Uh, next, you're going to have to head towards your apartment complex, uh, the area that you started in, and head to the second floor. On the second floor, as you will see here, you will see another restricted zone. You're going to have to get in there. Now, of course, there's the fun way where you can blast it open, or you can just use the keypad and, hot, uh, and just type in the code and get some experience for it. You know, because that makes sense. Uh, so anyway, just make sure you put uh, 0310. There we go. And that's will unlock the door. Now, you may have to tase the two people in here. I did that anyway because, well, tasers are fun. And plus, I was doing a and plus I'm doing a non-lethal run for the most part, so it, it helps uh, when you can knock down everybody. Uh, this uh, both that guy is hostile, and the other girl in here, while she isn't hostile, she is considered uh, one that will alert the authorities. So make sure you take her down quickly, uh, otherwise there will be panic and stuff like that. So I just knock her out. Just make it simple. Keep it simple. Kiss. It's something I learned. So anyway, there are two things in here. There is a pocket secretary. Uh, I closed the door just in case. And there you can also grab his pistol if you don't have one already. Either sell it to the guy in this building, or you can, you know, keep it. EMP ammo is very useful. Believe it or not. Even if you're doing a non-lethal run. EMP ammo, very useful. So anyway, as you can see, I'm kind of wandering around like a ditz. I do do some cutting here in a minute. Uh, but there is a pocket secretary you do have to get your hands on, which actually contains the code for the computer, which is hidden by this beer box, which I have derpily missed, as you can see there. That's actually why I did a cut. So anyway, open that up, and that will give you the password to the laptop. So that will give you half of what you need to get in. Again, very simple. So uh, as you can see, I cut some footage here. And, and, as I mentioned before, the computer's there. I actually derped huge, big time. And as Bonbon bon here, we have to enter her password. If you remember before, it is that. I'm not going to try and spell that. I think it's like Dorbin Knock. I'm not going to bother trying to spell it because I will totally forget it in about 10 seconds. Mostly because I'm doing drunk guides again. Long day at work. Let's just leave it at that. So anyway, I actually goof up the first uh, the first attempt because uh, misspelling, and I'm I, there's you know there's times where you just where your brain flips something around. You know you have a dyslexic moment. That was my dyslexic moment. So anyway, I should have probably cut that shorter, but uh, I didn't because reasons. And I'm supposed to think of this stuff. You know, funny thing is, I talked to my friend for three hours. Can't do a 15-minute video. So anyway, open up your emails. No, not your emails. These emails. And when you read through them, just make sure you just quickly browse on through them. I personally read them. Again, I probably should have just... Excuse me. Quickly just browse right through them because it doesn't really matter. Because they did get... There, 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 there. It does give you your actual... Uh, waypoint there so you have to go to the train station and move to the next area I, and of course leaving that area makes it restricted lists 
And if you go in there a second time later on, in the sec when you return, you can shoot them again with a taser. It's fun. So anyway, that was that area. And uh, now we have to head to the train station. And we have to go all the way up into these apartment buildings up here. Fairly simple. So, do be warned, you are going to need a security rating to make sure you invest in the stealth hacking um, mod. Aug not mod, augment. I actually derped this so many times. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, I am not having a good day. Why I didn't uh, do that right the first time, I will never know. I'm actually multitasking right now while I'm letting this run. Why I had to announce that to you, I do not know. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm going insane? Is that why? So anyway, I got lucky this time and didn't have to really worry about that uh, other one. However, uh, yeah, this is the one where I get discovered because I didn't invest in the uh, stealth hacking um, augment. The, the most useful augment you can get in this game. Especially if you do a lot of hacking. So what you're going to want to do is try and get to that computer and hack it. Or you can do what I do and, well, and get it to recognize you as the homeowner. Or you can just do what I do and run down this hallway, go into this area here, and open this pocket secretary real quick-like. And just make sure you do open it, otherwise you do not get the code and the waypoint for the next area. And once you have done that, we will move on to uh, this area here. We have just taken the uh, train, well not, actually we haven't taken the train, we've stepped out of the apartment and we're into that uh, first area where you step out of the train station, the one... Um, in the far left, because I'm not going to try and pronounce, um, uh, what was Prague again? Okay, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm having brain farts right now. So then we're going to have to come over here to this super secret nightclub, which makes your vibrator, um, uh, not vibrator, <laughs> your vibrator controller, your controller vibrate. Now there's two ways in here. You can either use the strength augment to get your, uh, strength up and get that moved, or you can throw a grenade, you know, a nice frag grenade because you know reasons and I forgot to select it so anyway you can just go ahead and chuck your frag grenade over here now I do recommend getting some health um, either augments or health us uh, help us uh, the stim packs otherwise this next area is gonna be a pain for you because you have to go through that now luckily unlike uh, human revolution where if you step in electricity once you die in this case, you just lose health quite quickly. So make sure you overcharge your health at least once, and run like heck. That's the only recommendation I have. I don't know why I didn't run. As you can see, my health is quickly depleting, and luckily I managed to get through before I died. Now, there's going to be two people right here. Now, there, again, there's two ways you can dispatch of them. You can either take them out quickly uh, and kill them. If you do have the, mo the augment that allows you to take down two enemies with one, uh, one beatdown, or one melee attack, or you can just do that, hit uh, hit the one guy with the taser gun, if you're doing the non-lethal, and just TKO the other guy, and just step back and allow uh, the other guy to not get freaked out over there. Now you do have to get inside this door. Unfortunately, neither of these guys have, uh, neither of them have a password. I couldn't find it online. So, you're going to have to hack it. And again, it's only a rank one, so this one actually isn't that bad. So just keep that in mind. Trace program initiated. I have beer next to me. Aren't I great? But uh, always remember to disconnect if you're about to get um, if you're about to discover and you don't have any extra things, it helps. And unfortunately, I goofed up, and now you have to wait. Now I don't. Why I don't know why I didn't um. Um, fast forward, I don't know, mainly because I, maybe because I wasn't, wasn't thinking, or other reasons, I don't know, it's a good question, uh, but anyway, oh my goodness, because I'm drinking, but anyway, again, this is an easy hack, but I didn't really invest anything into my skills, because I really wanted to keep those practice kits, so I could easily, um, do, uh, some of the other achievements in here, the miscellaneous stuff. So uh, just be very careful and move quickly if you can. So hopefully, actually this is the time I get it right. So anyway, after we open this on door, we're going to head over to this dead body over here. 
Now there's nothing else in this place except for this thing right here, is this pocket secretary. Once you grab it, of course, as I've been showing before, open it, and you will get the next waypoint. Now we're going to have to do some stuff. Now we're going to have to get into this underground facility in... So well, actually, you know what? I'm actually getting ahead of myself, aren't I? You have to go to the Labus apartments. Labus. 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 We have to go to these apartments. Labus. I cannot pronounce shit today. And we have to go upstairs into that apartment up there. Now, I do do some weird cuts here. And that's mainly because of, um, again, some derping around. I did some looting. Mostly a lot of looting. You're going to have to, again, with this door, either open it uh, normally or you can hack it. I hacked it. So what you're going to want to go is for this, um, not for this computer, there will be a spray bottle. Uh, you will actually find it in the uh, right hand side over here somewhere. If I, you know, oh by the way, another pistol. Uh, anyway, and more ammo. Always grab that ammo. Again, I do some looting because looty reasons, I think. There's also a pocket secretary there. Make sure you grab that. You don't really need it, but grab it anyway. So anyway, over here is going to be this spray bottle, which actually leads to that hidden door. You can open it. So anyway, you're going to need a very high-ranked hacking skill at your current level to get into this... Yes, I realize there's a vent there. To get inside this door, uh, this terminal. It's a hacking rake 4. Now there are, But there is another way you can get in there. The handy-dandy multi-tool. Yes, the handy-dandy multi-tool. Because I like saying handy-dandy. Space dandy. He's a dandy guy in space. So anyway, we're going to open this safe here. Uh, you have to actually hold right trigger on it because I is the first time I actually used a multi-tool during the recording. So anyway, if you don't have the hacking skill required, you can just open it with a multi-tool. Uh, they cost 800 in the store, Tech Noir, or you can just make them for 120 parts. So anyway, open this, and once you open the safe, you will find some things, including but not limited to, credit chips, another multi-tool, which again is very useful keep that in the pocket secretary which will lead us to our final checkpoint and do note that there is a uh, there is a speech check for the final area for final waypoint it is not required but it makes it a hell of a lot easier especially when you have to hack a level five and you need at least three uh, bio cells so yeah easier to do the bio cells uh, not bio cells I easier just to do the uh, the other one than this Again, that's a level 5, so just keep that in mind. You can use another, uh, not BioCell, you can use another uh, hacking tool there if you want. Uh, just be careful in this area here specifically because of that turrets, because turrets are assholes. Uh, you're going to want to sneak behind the turret as soon as you know you can. And get on up those stairs. Now you can hack that and get that turret as yours, or you can just hack it. Uh, now this terminal will have a code for it, 0311. Go ahead and go on through. Luckily there aren't anyone in here, at least not that many. Um, I do go through this area quite quickly, mainly because, you know, I can. Uh, I am doing, again, a non-lethal run, so therefore I am just TKOing people. I wish I kept that battle rifle, you know, because battle rifles. Uh, just be careful, as uh, they will get annoying, especially when you start taking out these guys. Uh, I always take their weapons so they have nothing to fight with. <laughs> Isn't that amusing? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you. No, you're not. Uh, those guys aren't that important, but they are. They can discover you, so just make sure you knock them out if you want to. Otherwise, there is a guy up on this area up here. Uh, knock him out or whatever. There, you can access the security cams there. So just keep that in mind. You can shut them down, or you can just go around like I do, because that's easier. Uh, again, just be sh careful of that area here. You will see a weird jump cut here in just a moment, uh, mostly because of where I save and where I go to next. Um, you can actually get over here. I accidentally get spotted by the camera without realizing it. And uh, the area down there is where you have to go. Do not tase the last person in that room. That is actually a speech check. Now, there is a few multiple ways of doing this. You can either go down here and fail it and do it yourself, or you can convince her to do it for you, which is I, which is what I would recommend as this saves you the most amount of time, most amount of effort. 
So we're going to warn her first and foremost, I believe. Yes, warn. And of course, I do speed this up quite a bit. Mostly because it is, again, a conversation tree and everything. And you know, Deus Ex, they love their dialogue. I like it. So anyway, we're going to want to confront her next. Once we have confronted her, she will then actually go through another dialogue tree. And she will open the door for you. She will actually go in and shut down those reactors. This saves you the most amount of time. You can do it without it. You don't have to, but it saves you the most amount of time. But anyway, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. This helped you hit like. If you do, in fact, want to see more, why not click on that sandwich in the lower right-hand corner? Go over to my channel. Hit subscribe. Do it. Or you can click on the previous video, The Cult of Personality, because it is a reference. And as always, have a great and beautiful day, and hopefully I will see you guys all next time.